Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 video. In this video, I'd like to share with you my camp and uh, a few thoughts that I'd like to get some feedback. I'll share the thoughts with it throughout the video and uh, also cover, uh, I think, like two Atomic Shop items that are pretty much new and I've uh, got to play around with them once built was building this camp. So uh, you might want to find that useful. Yeah, actually there's going to be two. The uh, laser door and the, the new display thing for the weapons. Alright, so let's stop wasting time, jump right into it. Alright, so uh, before I show you the location of this camp, uh, I'd like to ask you a question. Is this a Scorch Beast or... I don't know. I run into this, I don't know, nailed creature on a mountain, and I'm like, man, I don't remember this bird because I was planning to build my camp over there. That's where I had my season two camp. Uh, which, by the way, here's my first thought. I was thinking uh, maybe I should like, because I was planning not to uh, kind of build another camp for another year because I'm not a professional camp builder all of my camps they turn out to be weird like maybe this one is weird as well but it was pretty hard to build I gotta tell you uh, but then again if I don't build I don't get that experience right so uh, I guess uh, making a new camp per season would be a good idea what do you think and same goes for the outfit combos as well so I I am wearing some new <coughs> outfits so maybe uh, that's something what do you think anyway so where is this camp located? It's located right next to uh, Seneca Rocks. So if you just turn around, you'll see these two big mountains over here, right? And this is the most highest spot. The good thing about this location is that there are no enemies. Nobody's going to destroy your camp. That's the good thing about it. The bad thing about it, I can't figure out how to build a camp so once you're like kind of fast traveling you don't end up all the way down there like in order for me to get to my camp right now once I fast travel I'll end up all the way down there and I'll need to fast travel again in order to appear right over here it took me some time to get the, the uh, spawning point as well because I used to spawn right <laughs> right over here <laughs> I couldn't move man so yeah I this camp man this this camp is uh it, it was one of the hardest camps I had to work with because first of all it's on a it's on a mountain man <laughs> it was very hard to build this thing like this is where I've built the camp right like here like if I show you like that look at it that's it it was crazy and I was actually very well surprised that I actually made it because I scrapped this camp maybe like twice because I couldn't get things done but anyway from the outside this is gonna be my new uh, sort of video starting you know what's like, hey, up Z Clan how you doing? Hello everybody else <laughs> uh, so on the outside we've got a few like statues over here right both you can interact with these are pretty old so it shoots so the tank and we got this wasteland hero Season, season one reward. I don't remember which season this is. Season two, but if you play, I mean, if you like interact with them, you get strength over here. You get agility, I believe. So the drum set musical is really nice. I thought, man, with the background of the season board, so it'll be look looking even great. Added that little disco over there to make it like, you know, those things scrolling over there. And uh, those icicles, lights. I, I kind of like the blue one. If you if you place like for example, some like that lightning over there is gonna be like you can barely see uh, the actual scoreboards. That's like season one, season two, three, and four. So yeah, maybe I am gonna do it per season. And uh, of course, a vending machine, cure your disease. Although I'm not even gonna remove this. I mean, this thing is heavy I mean bulky and it's just standing there maybe I'll just build some more of these uh, high-powered man I don't remember how they're called but I'm gonna go into detail about this thing and I'll make a separate review video review about this thing because it, it got a big advantage 
and it got a big disadvantage. I'll share with you that once I'm done showing the camp. So over here you'll get some ammo, gamma rounds, the ammo converter, the yeah ammo converter, right? Scavenger, collectron. I mean my bad. With Nuka Cola, that's the entrance to my base. Sort of my bar with more displays, the Easter eggs, the statues from Nuclear Winter. I think that they will be available once Nuclear Winter gets shut down through other events. I hope not. Like, not these. I, I think these statues should be available only to those who've uh, proceeded ranks in Nuclear Winter, because that makes sense. So another statue over here. I don't remember where I got this one, to be honest. Definitely not Atomic Shop, so it was some reward for some doing something. Brotherhood uh, table right here with a few masks. By the way, uh, turns out it's not that easy to build these display things. It was easier to do it in the shelter, but in reality, it was very hard to kind of like stick them up. They'll go through the wall like, man, that's why I have only like this. I have a lot more masks, but it just don't want to sit on the wall. Man, this thing is another event. A few more weapons over here. You know, play some foosball. <laughs> and my man Beckett. Making that coin. Oh yeah, by the way, there's a laser grid over here if you haven't noticed. You can make this a double door. So, boom. And a secret door. <laughs> yeah, I made a review for it, but the review was very long. So, I think not everybody caught the idea. And the only way you can place a second door through the laser door is that uh, you will need to turn off the lasers and then put a door. Any door works, by the way. I just uh, thought, man, you know, the Nuka Cola would be a good fit over here. Because Beckett is like the, you know, the barman. <laughs> and yeah, the other thing is you can't pass through lasers like that, even if you own it. Although it would be cool if the owner could pass without actually, you know, having to interact with the stuff I lays on my. Yeah. And yeah, you can actually lock it as well. So over here it leads to my shelter, which I think I'm going to start working on it after season five. Because I have a lot, four shelters and I have, only one of them is occupied with my, for the reviews, that's it. Everything else is not done. So more guns and we navigate to the second floor, more guns. And maybe now you can see a little bit what's happening with this gun over here. And trust me, that's not uh, the worst case about these things. But as I said, just give me a couple of minutes. I'll get to the sec to the up floor, and then I'll talk about uh, this specific item right here. Although I will make a separate review. So more guns, a little bit game rounds. This is season two, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Atomic shop version, and we got our crafting things over here. Everything you need. And man, I'm telling you, this bird it don't look like Scorsby's. So yeah, all the crafting stations right here, the train, another train, one is the season and one is from the atomic shop, I think this one's the atomic shop version. Then we go up, that's where all my vegetables are, <laughs> where you make your barbecue man. It's all good, with the hot dog, what up, which gives a well rested buff if you sit here long enough, you know, get some chill before you mo move out to that uh, Monster Hunt or uh, repeatable XP to grind those seasons. Looking forward to season 5, by the way. That one I'm gonna grind out really fast. Well, I plan to. So, yeah, that's the camp. Hope you. Uh, what do you think? Am I getting better at this? <laughs> <laughs> or is it another weird, weird looking camp, man? I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, but yeah, I'm telling you. That thing is definitely no scorch beast, man. Alright, so what I wanted to talk about is uh, the laser thing, I already covered it. That's another. That's one of the two that I wanted to talk about. It can make two, two doors. And this thing right here. The problem with this thing, man, is that it can display uh, handmaids. Handmaids just kind of get lost right into it. It kind of sinks into it. That's why I had to place these... Uh, uh, weapon displays, the default ones, because they're visible. Like, but if, for example, if I interact with this one right here, right? Let me remove it. 
Uh, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna remove that one and remove that one, right? So there we go. And if I want to put the handmaid over here, right? Look what happens. Boom. Gets sucked into it. It's a real shame. Because I find it cool that it's unlimited. The unlimited part that you can just slam this thing all you want and have as many as you want. Because we have a whole, a whole bunch of uh, skins, weapon skins. And we cannot, we couldn't display them all. Because we're limited to 30. Wait, where's your gun? Oh yeah, that's the... So yeah, we couldn't display all of them. This changes things. This allows us to actually have the ability to display all of them. Uh, but it kind of still eats up. I mean, s most of them you can display because they kind of like get sucked into that thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for my camp. A uh, few tips and tricks in regards to the items that I've used. Hope I haven't missed anything. Oh, uh, this thing definitely not a Scorch Beast in, in my opinion. Or maybe I just haven't been playing this game for a, a long time. And yeah, boom. Season 5, I'm waiting. <laughs> Let's go. So, Z Clan and everybody else, you all know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like. Why'd you stand up, man? Did I exit the photo mode? Get back in there. Man, just messed up my uh, ending. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so as I was saying, thanks all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like if you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. And uh, if you want to join our community on Discord with over uh, 850 members, feel free to uh, follow the link down from the video description and uh, it'll lead you right to our discord but make sure to read our rules because you will get banned if you break them and follow the instructions so you can get access to the chats that you want to see as the discord server is big and I don't want you to have the trazillion of chats so I give you the option to control in terms of what you want to see and what you don't alright so once again thanks all for watching you all have a good one and I'll catch you all later bye From the...